In this video, I wanted to talk about the small SBC that I just picked up. I just got it today. It's the Ratsa Rock 2F. Uh, and this guy is a really, I'm going to say affordable, but cheap, uh, small uh, you know, computer project board. Uh, it's an ARM processor and it's a rock chip processor. And here's the official case that it came in. Uh, so it's a Rock 2F. Um, it's a small, the very small, compact, credit size uh, SBC. So if you guys are used to Raspberry Pis, you probably know this, um, and you're familiar with this type of form factor because the Raspberry Pi comes with this uh, as well. Uh, so you can basically say it's a cheaper uh, competitor to Raspberry Pi. I am cheating, but looking at the specs, uh, it comes with a quad-core A53 processor and an ARM Mali 450 GPU. Uh, I think this performance is equivalent to a Raspberry Pi 3. The image that's loaded on this guy is a Debian-based ARM Linux uh, distribution that Rats has provided, um, so they've kind of customized it. But in this setup, I've actually powered it through a power bank. Um, so this is a power bank that I talked about in my previous videos. Uh, so it's kind of a portable system, really, uh, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, otherwise, you can hook it up to a power supply to a normal you know, outlet to get the supply. Um, this is powering it by five volts, and I think it pushes two amps, something like that. Um, don't quote me on that, but um, basically it's working. It has Bluetooth, so I have my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard paired to the OS. But I just wanted to show the form factor. It gets really, really hot, um, but I think the documentation for this board said it, it's you know rated up to 80 degrees which is pretty toasty. Anyways, um, I have a micro SD card uh, inserted in, so that's where the image lives. Um, just to show you that, the underside of the board. Um, and then you have two full-size USBs, and you have a full-size HDMI port, which is awesome. You have a audio jack, which also does AV composite, if that's interesting to you. Onboard EMMC, if you want. Uh, but I'm just powering it off of a the SD card and it's like a 32 gig card that I got. So it's sufficient for my needs. Uh, it's this very small board, I think for maker projects or any projects you got, um, you know, whatever they are. Um, so for example, it could be robotics or whatever, you're, you know, hacking at home uh, or any home automation projects you want to do. Um, I think the form factor is just really awesome and you can make it really portable as well. Now, you know, you can use a portable power bank um, or you can use some custom lithium polymer solution you want or just do a classic plug into the wall um, because you'll have to charge your power bank. I personally got this from AliExpress so I was waiting for a couple of weeks but I'm very excited about it because I wanted to do some things and some cool projects that I was interested in um, so especially interested in kind of hooking up um, some cameras to do some AI stuff. If you're interested in that kind of thing uh, you can also check out some other boards um, so this, for instance, is the ESP32 RISC-V based processor. You can code and kind of do some AI stuff as well. Uh, so cool board. Uh, and you can kind of pair these together nicely to do some cool stuff. Just very impressive board for the cost. Um, you know, 30 bucks. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, and I think it's an awesome deal that you get because you get full size uh, ports. Don't have to deal with kind of micro HDMI or micro uh, USB. And at the same time, I think the processor, uh, it's not the biggest, but it's pretty good. I forgot to talk about RAM actually. Uh, this one comes with four gigs of RAM. That's what I spec'd out, but I think you can get like different uh, configurations. I won't know that off my head, but I got four gigs because I really wanted that for my base system. And then also has Wi-Fi 6. Um, you can also connect, you have a PCIe connector as well. So you can use Raspberry Pi hats to connect an NVMe drive uh, or whatever you want, you know, through PCIe. Uh, so you can have fun with that. Um, but obviously you just need to get the adapter and hat for that. Other than that, that's a quick video, but I really am excited about this. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks everybody.